I'm here at the Court of Chivalry uh, in London. It's an important place because a lot of people in back home don't understand the comparisons uh, between heraldry law and our, tot our totemic law. And what we need to do is to draw those comparisons and understand how they work. If they're registered and they're recognised as being part of our culture, the same way it is with Ireland, Scotland, all these people have family clans, Chris. They also have a territorial seal, seal that belongs to their land. And it's a symbol which they carry on their flags when they went into battle against each other and against the knights who, and the different kings in Britain when they were trying, fighting for territory and fighting for land and supremacy. And of course now we have this crown with a lion which is, comes out of Africa, it's a representation of power, and this one. And this is a very different um, unicorn because he's not chained. There's no chains around his neck. There's only a crown. And so this clearly is one where it's not the use of power, but the one of grace, the one of beauty, the one of love um, and compassion. And so these here is a symbolism of that, I'm only assuming that that is the case. But if you have a lion on the other side as a representation of the power, then surely this must show compassion and love. Um, that's, I'm just second guessing that. But in our case, we need to understand the importance of heraldry in English law, because it is common law, it is heraldry law from which the common law of England emerged, and so we need to understand that if we are going to battle our way through trying to locate our solutions back home. We need to show that native title is much more than just that terminology. It's about our proper ownership of land through the symbolism that belongs and that is attached to our land. So we need to design, we have all the patterns. We they, see, a lot of people don't understand why they cut down the trees at Colorindabri, at Collymungle, in 1936. They cut them down because each of those trees had a representation of the stories of all the family groups that belonged to that country. And it also told the stories of uh, which country they belonged to as well. And so you had a, this corridor of trees, scarred trees, um, as if you would go through a temple and into a thing. You would have all these like glass glass windows telling you of all the stories. Or you go into a castle and you walk through the great corridor and you'll find all the heraldic signs and shields up on the walls. And people can tell you who they are, where they, what families they belong to, how they got those shields, how they got those patterns. And those patterns relate to a particular land group and so when a knight was given land uh, for his sockage, for his services to the king, the knight would be given a parcel of land and then that shield would become representation of his ownership of that land and it becomes attached to that land. We had that before the white man came. We just need to understand it and make it work for our people.